hello all and welcome back today we are going to create this addition and subtraction animation using powerpoint this video involves programming with powerpoint vba using which we are going to do some simple calculation and update that value back into the text field so let's get started let's first enable the guides and format the background with light gray color Next go to insert tab and add a text field. Type in 0 into it and align it to center. Format this text as per your requirement of font type and font size. Change the font color also if it is required. Next important step is to rename this shape under selection pane. Let's rename it as counter and we will make use of this name later during our coding process. So please remember this name. Next go to insert tab and draw rounded rectangle shape. Increase its roundness and make it no outline. Create a duplicate of this shape by dragging it holding down control and shift keys and place it in line to the original shape. Let's change both rectangle colors to green and red color. On green color rectangle, insert text as add one and format it as per your requirement. Now copy and paste this text into the red color rectangle and change it as subtract one. Next create duplicates by dragging these two rectangle shapes holding down control and shift keys and place them one below the other. Let's quickly rename these rectangles in sequence from 1 to 5. Now we will start our VBA coding process. For that, we must first enable the developer tab. So right click on any empty space in the ribbon and then choose customize ribbon. Here you can see the developer tab is disabled by default. Just click and enable it. Now you can see the developer tab appears on the top of menu. Under this tab, click on visual basic to enter into the VBA coding editor. As soon as it opens up, the first thing we need to do is right click on empty space on the left pane and insert a module. Module is something where we actually write our VBA codes. Similar to other office applications, PowerPoint VBA code must start with a subroutine which is written as SUB and then followed by any sensible subroutine name. In this case, we will name it as increase counter value by 1 because that is what we are going to do first. This subroutine name must end with open and close parenthesis and then finally by end sub. That is where our subroutine ends. So anything we write as a code, it must be between these two lines. In this subroutine, we are trying to get the value stored in the text field so that later we can do some calculations on it. Since VBA is a object oriented programming, to refer any object in PowerPoint, we always use top to bottom reference method. What I mean is, we first start with current PowerPoint presentation, then refer any specific slide within it, and then among all the shapes within this slide, we refer to any specific shape by its name. In this case, it will be counter text field. Finally, we are going to refer to the value that is available on this shape. In this case, it is a text field. Let's start referencing our objects. Press space bar holding down control key and that will bring IntelliSense list. From this list, select active presentation. In VBA, we separate each object reference by a full stop or a dot between them. Next choose slides from this IntelliSense list and since we have only one slide, just add one as an input for the index number. Next we need to refer shape by its name and in this case it will be the shape 
with name counter then we will refer to the text field and finally the value that is stored in it so this entire line of code will refer to the value stored in the text field but we need to store this value somewhere right so that is when we declare the variables in vba using dim keyword dim stands for dimension and it just creates a space in computer memory to store any specific value let's name this variable as text value and set its type as integer so that we can do some mathematical calculations on it but we have a problem here the value referenced using below line of code is a text and we cannot do any calculation over text values so let's change this value to the integer by making use of int keyword int stands for integer this int function is inbuilt in vba and is used to convert any value into an integer type finally let's assign this integer value to the variable we have declared now if we step through this line of code by pressing f8 key on your keyboard we can see the value stored in this variable as soon as that line of code executes in this case the value stored is 0 let's change the value to 1 and then check again now we can see this variable holds the value of text field in integer format next we will increase this variable value by 1 and reassign this new value back to the text field because we are incrementing this value by 1 we will assign this macro to add one rectangle shape so select this rectangle shape go to insert tab and then click on actions here you will find run macro option and you will also see our subroutine name appears in this list click on okay and let's preview this code in action if you keep on clicking add one rectangle you will see the text field value will keep on increasing by one every time Similarly we will do it for subtract one rectangle go to vb editor copy and paste the same code below change the subroutine name and also change the line of code to subtract the value by 1 let's assign this new macro to subtract one rectangle shape and then check its preview As you can see both codes are working perfectly. Similarly, we need to create few more subroutines for other rectangle shapes. Let's go to VB editor, copy and paste both subroutines below. Change the names and this time increase and decrease the value by 2. Continue to copy and paste the code one below the other. and keep on increasing and decreasing the value by 3 4 and Finally assign all subroutines to respective rectangle shapes and then preview the final result
So here is the final preview. You can click on any rectangle shape and see the text field will increase or decrease accordingly. Hope you all like this concept. Please don't forget to like, share and comment. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.